this is Lorraine at Flow Hot Yoga and Pilates in Wangara. I'm going to take you through a beginner's yoga class this morning, roughly around 25 to 30 minutes. Um, go at your own pace and work within your limitations. Um, yoga is for anyone, no matter your flexibility, your strength, your fitness, your mobility. It really is for anyone. And you can adapt most moves um, for your injuries, um, if you're holding any injuries. So we'll get straight into it. Uh, we're going to start off in our child pose. Um, so we're coming onto a mat, um, a carpet, a rug or a towel, whatever you've got available at home. We're going to place our knees and our feet together. I'm going to come down into what we call our child pose position. Now, if you have a very tight back or tight knees, um, you can open your knees a little bit if you want to, if it's not available to you. If you've got quite large breasts or um, a stomach, you can open your legs probably about a width distance of the mat and you can come down and rest your head onto the mat if that's comfortable for you. If you can't get that far down, you can place two fists, a cushion, a book, whatever you need to so that you can come down into a nice restful position. Um, I'm quite flexible today. So I'm going to place my forehead down onto the mat and placing my arms nice and long and relaxed. I'm just going to close my eyes here. I'm just going to do a little bit of breathing as we lengthen the back of our spine and release those muscles. I'm going to take a big inhalation through the nose. Feeling the ribs expanding in your back and then exhale loudly through your mouth making the sound ha. Inhale through the nose, hold and breathe out with a ha. Let's do this a few more times at your own pace. Inhale through the nose, hold. open our eyes here and we're going to come up into our cat cow position. So this is a four um, point kneeling position. We want to make sure that our wrists are directly underneath our elbows, that we're not going too far over or too far back. And we're just looking at our fingers here, we want to make sure that we've got space in between our fingers, that they're nicely evenly um, uh, positioned apart and pressing into the tips of our fingers. So our knuckles have got a slight bend into them, we're not flat, it's a slight bend so that we're engaged there. So making sure that the elbows, you can twist your elbows within your shoulder sockets and we want to make sure that the creases um, are facing each other and that the knuckle of the elbow is facing outwards in a nice position here. We're just going to relax our head here. We don't want to be making sure that we're, we're not hunching and arching forward. We want to feel a nice length in the back of the spine here. So tucking the chin into the chest, feeling nice and long, pressing through the heels of the hands, so that we're engaged throughout those arms. Next, we're going to be looking at our alignment with our knees directly above our hips here and our legs nice and long like the number 11. If we look down, we can see, just see the insides of our legs and we look like the number 11 with our legs. So this is our tabletop position. And next, we're just going to look at our alignment of our back here. So if we tip and we release and loosen everything and we allow the pelvis to tip up towards the ceiling, we can also raise the front of the chest, shining the heart forward, making sure the eye gaze is up towards the ceiling in front of you. And this is our cow position. I'm not quite sure why we look like a cow, but apparently we do. So again, let's just feel a nice relax. Let's take an inhalation here, in through the nose out through the mouth. We're going to come into our angry cat position. So we're going to do the complete opposite. So we're going to tilt that pelvis. And as we tilt the pelvis, the eye gaze is going to run along the mat and directly through between our legs. We're going to press those shoulders out, feeling a nice stretch, the top of the shoulders, the neck, arching through that stomach, drawing in the abdominals, 
We're getting a nice stretch on the lower back here. Big inhalation into the back of the ribs. <sighs> Exhale as we tip forward into our happy cow. Feeling the nice elongation in the front of the neck. Pressing our heart open, opening up our collarbones. Feeling a nice stretch and compression in the lower spine here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. It's going to come into a nice little flow here. It's giving you a little bit of mobility here. Inhale. Dropping those shoulders all the way. Exhale. Let's just do two more here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to take our hands a little bit further forward in the same position as before, just a little bit forward. I'm going to tuck our toes under here. And again, keeping that um, hip width distance, we're going to press up into our first downward dog. Now what we want to do here is we want to make sure that our knees are slightly bent and we're going to tilt our pelvis as far up to the ceiling as possible. So a nice curve in that lower lumbar here. And as we do so, we're going to press away Press the body away, pressing the chest towards the thighs. I'm going to gently drop the heels down to the floor. Depending on your flexibility, your body shape, everything will depend on whether you can get your heels down. I can't, I'm quite tight in my Achilles and my hamstrings. So let's just take a big deep breath here. And exhale, we'll see if we can deepen a little bit further. And we're going to do our, what we call our walking our dog. So walking our dog means bending one knee and lifting and pressing down with the opposite heel and the opposite leg. So bending the leg and dropping the heel. So we should feel a nice stretch down the back of the calves, the lower legs, and also in the hamstrings. You probably might start feeling it in your shoulders a little bit soon. Let's come up onto those toes. And then down again for one more inhalation. Exhale. It's bending our knees, coming into our child pose. Keeping the arms long this time and engaged, pressing those fingertips into the mat. Big inhale. Exhale. Then back into our downward dog, tucking the toes. Pressing that chest towards the thighs, pushing those knees and the heels down to the mat. Inhale, exhale. We're going to walk our feet here, whichever way you can. So we're going to walk our feet to the top of our mat here. This is what we call our forward fold position. Make sure that you're nice and comfy, you might need to adjust slightly. Bend your knees slightly here. If your hands don't touch the floor, you can put them on your shins or on your knees, whatever is comfortable for you. I like to have a nice bend in my knees because I have lower back um, issues and I like to wiggle around quite a lot as well. So while we're here, let's just take our hands onto our elbows and let's just take a nice long stretch, just allowing the head to hang loose here. Let the arms hang loose, nice soft knees. We'll wiggle our toes as we're here, drawing our navel into our spine. It's a little engagement there. Big inhalation and exhale. We straighten those legs a little bit further. We're gonna make sure that we're not um, pressing backwards here. So you see my hips might be pushed slightly backwards. We wanna try and get alignment here, that hips directly above our ankles and our heels. And again, have a little wiggle here. And next we're gonna bend our leg, bend our knees and we're gonna come up. So you can use your hands onto your knees as you come up if you want to, or you can just come up. As we're drawing up, we're curving through the spine, coming all the way up. As we come up, let's open up our arms, eye gaze towards the ceiling, and let's place our palms together. 
big inhalation. Exhale, bringing our heart hands down to what we call our heart center, to the front of our chest. While we're here, we're just going to wiggle our toes a little bit here. We haven't really talked about our feet. Our feet are exceptionally important to us. So what we're going to do is we're just going to raise and wiggle your toes a little bit. Just press yourself forwards, rock yourself forwards and backwards, side and side. Maybe just do some clocks here all the way around one way, all the way around the next. Just warming up our feet here, picking up those toes. You know how high can you get them, hold them and then release. Let's do that one more time, pick them up. You can splay your toes, I can't do that. Um, that's very, very good for your feet. You can wiggle your toes as much as possible and then placing them down. Making sure that we've got an even weight on our toes and our feet there. So it's taking our hands back into our prayer position, making sure that our pelvis is nicely tucked under. We're gonna open our arms, taking the eye gaze towards the ceiling, palms together. To bring the hands down to heart center, we're gonna fold back into our forward fold position again. Big inhalation here. Exhale, we're gonna place our hands down onto the floor. We're gonna take our right leg all the way back as far as we can, pressing our hands and our fingertips into the ceiling so our knuckles are slightly up off the mat, picking up that left foot, bringing it back neck down again and we're back into our downward dog so pressing through the heels and the fingertips of the hands pushing down with the heels feeling a nice elongation in the back of the knees again let's do that one more time we're going to walk up all the way towards the top of the mat into our forward fold if you want to, if you're very flexible, you can press at the back of the legs to get the fold deeper. Big inhalation. Exhale as we come all the way up. Eye gaze towards the ceiling, palms together, hands into prayer. Inhale, open the arms, palms together. Exhale as we fold ourselves forward. Placing both hands down this time, let's take our left leg all the way back and then our right leg all the way back pressing into our downward dog feeling the stretch can we get our heels any closer this time you're going to feel a difference if you're really engaging and feeling the stretch here big inhalation exhale we're going to come into a modified chaturanga um, so we're going to bend our knees um, towards the floor. Next, we're going to rock ourselves forwards so that our um, shoulders are above um, our wrists. I'm going to come into a triceps. So we want to make sure that the elbows come forward towards the side of the ribs, not outwards. So we're going to come forwards here. And the idea is that we're going to try and bring our chest down and our chin down to the floor and we're going to poke our bottom up into the air. Next, we're going to lengthen, and we're going to come up into our cobra position. So the, knee, the, the toes can come untucked here, as we're keeping into our cobra position. Big inhalation. Exhale, tucking the toes, digging into the heels, pressing ourselves back up again, coming back into our four-point kneeling, and into our downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna take our right foot towards the sky here. We wanna make sure that what we're doing here is that we're not tipping all the way over. We're keeping ourselves, our hips are in alignment. We're not tilting upwards or downwards, the arms the shoulders are nice and long and strong. We can engage that foot by pressing the toes back towards our body. We're gonna bend this knee and we're gonna bring it all the way forward as we articulate the spine and bringing it in between our hands here. In this position, we're gonna bend the left knee and we're gonna press into that right heel as we come up 
in two, and the arms come overhead, palms facing each other, we come into our crescent lunge. Now in this position, we wanna be making sure that we're nice, the shoulders are over the hips, that the pelvis is tucked under, that we're not scooping out, and that we've got a nice placement. We can feel the weight in the front of the foot, into the heel, and into the back of the toes. We can bend this knee as much or as little as you need to. If you need to, you can bring it in to make it a little bit easier, or you can take it out further. We're gonna take a big inhalation here. It's gonna come back out again. Big inhalation. Exhale, so bring the hands back down to the side into our original position. I'm gonna take this right leg back into our downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. We come into our chaturanga, so we're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna rock over forward, so the shoulders are forward of the wrists, bending the elbows, bringing the chest and the chin down. The bottom is in the air, pushing ourselves forward, untucking the toes. Just bring those shoulders back, looking up towards the ceiling. Feeling a nice stretch and a compression in the back of the spine. Tucking the toes onto our knees, pressing back up into our downward dog again. Next, we're gonna take left leg to the sky. Again, making sure that we're not tipping, that we're nicely in alignment, pressing those fingertips into the mat. Bending that knee all the way, keep it in nice and close, all the way to the stomach, all the way to the chin, and then flicking the leg out at the last minute. In this position, we're gonna take a bend in that right knee, we're gonna push through the heel of the left leg, and we're gonna come into our crescent lunge. Keeping the hand, the palms are together. Try and keep those um, arms, the biceps, right besides the ears. We're engaging through the front of the left, glute, we're going to feel it in our left glute here, we're going to feel a nice lengthening through the hands, uh, through the hip flexors here, getting a nice stretch, let's take a big inhalation, exhale, so we come back down again, hands either side of that front leg, let's shift the weight into our downward dog, inhale, Exhale, coming down onto our knees, over into our chaturanga, bending the elbows into the side of the chest. Up we come, upward dog, downward dog. Let's just take a big inhalation here. Exhale. Walking our feet to the front of the mat, into our forward fold. Inhale. Exhale. Opening the arms wide, palms together. Hands to chest. Inhale. Palms together, arms high. Fold forward. Exhale. I'm going to come into a halfway lift here. So we're going to come up halfway. So what we're looking for here is a nice flat back. So making sure that the chin is pushed in, that we've got a nice flatness here. So some people can do a flat back with their hands on the floor, next to their um, feet, onto their ankles, or onto their knees. Whatever is available to you, whatever feels right for you. Forward fold. Right leg back. We're going to keep the right leg here. I'm just going to turn that right foot probably to about 45 degrees, whatever is comfortable for you. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for a line between this heel all the way down to the other heel or to the center of the foot here. We're going to bend into the left leg and we're going to press ourselves up into our warrior two so we're bending into the left leg now so this is all about alignment here 
So we're looking for our knee directly over our ankle so that we're not coming over the foot or the toes. We can still be able to see our toes. The right leg, we wanna make sure with that right foot that we're not putting all of our weight on the inside of the foot, but we're putting it more on the outside of the foot. So we've got a nice opening here of the hips as we come around. Next, we're looking at our arm position. So we're keeping our arms equally high almost feel like you're being stretched from one side to the other. A lot of people tend to drop this arm a bit, so keeping the arm nice and long and strong. And the eye gaze is going over the top of the left fingers here, so keeping that right up, keeping a nice big deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Can we deepen a little bit further? into our lunge. We might need to take our legs out slightly more. We can get a little bit lower. As you progress your yoga practice, you might be able to get lower and lower as you get stronger. Big inhalation here. Exhale. We've got a windmill. We call this windmilling our hands down, framing that foot, bringing the right foot around. I'm going to take this left foot up to the sky down to the floor, into our downward dog, and down to our chaturanga, so our modified chaturanga. Upward dog. Tuck the toes, pressing back into our downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Walking our feet to the top into our forward fold, halfway lift, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, forward fold, exhale, Inhale, taking our left leg all the way back, turning the foot, taking a bend in the right knee as we come up and we circle the left arm over like a rainbow into our warrior two. Again, let's just check our alignment so that the heel um, are in alignment, that we've got a nice bend in the knee. We can shift ourselves around a bit. Shoulders nice in alignment, making sure that one arm isn't back from the other. Feel as if we're being stretched in both directions. I want to feel about an elongation here in the spine, so thinking nice and tall, chin is tucked into the chest, eye gaze over the middle finger. Inhale, exhale, sink deeper, making sure that the weight is on the outside of that foot. Keeping ourselves in alignment. Let's hold here for another breath. Exhale. Let's windmill the arms down to frame that foot, turning the foot inwards, swinging this right foot out back into our downward dog. Let's do a little mini chaturanga here. Coming forward, knees, chest, chin, up into our upward dog. We're finding a little bit of a flow here. Tucking the toes under, back into our downward dog. Walking our feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, exhale, halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, palms together. Exhale into prayer. Inhale, arms ahead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg steps back. Again, we're going to come into our warrior two. So taking a nice bend in that front leg as we windmill the arms over into our warrior two. Are we stronger here? Feeling a nice strong core, zipping up through the pelvic floor zipping in those ribs. If you don't want to be arching out the ribs and the chest, everything is in alignment and solid. Inhale, 
exhale. We're going to come into our um, triangle pose, um, or extended um, side angle. So I'm going to come forward here. I'm going to come forward slightly. So if you see here, I'm just coming at the waist, coming forward, taking our left knee on top of our left, um, our left elbow on top of our left knee. I'm just going to take the hand here. I'm going to try and create a nice long line from the tips of my fingers all the way down to my heel. So in this position, I'm leaning slightly into my left arm onto my left leg here. If it's available for you, you can take the left hand down towards the floor and taking the right hand in alignment and getting more of a twist here. So the eye gazes towards the ceiling. So there's a progression here. You can stay here. Try and look at the palm of your hand if this is comfortable for you and this is enough for you today. If you want to progress further, you can take that hand down, twisting up towards the sky. Just take one inhalation here. Exhale. Windmill the arms down to the floor, taking that left leg back into our downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Walking our feet to the front of the mat, forward fold, halfway lift, forward fold, inhale, bending the knees, reaching as high as we can, eye gaze towards the palms, palms together, hands to heart centre, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Taking the left leg back into our warrior two, windling the arm all the way around into our warrior two position. Let's just stay here, take a big inhalation. Exhale, checking our alignment. Where's the weight going into our feet? Making sure we're not crunching into our toes. Checking that back arm. Big inhalation here, sinking deeper. Exhale, let's come over. So we're coming over, bending, taking the right elbow to the right knee, eye gaze towards the ceiling. Can we feel the stretch all the way from the fingertips down towards the left foot, down the side of our body? If we're feeling particularly strong, can we take the foot down, the hand down to the floor, coming over into more of a twist, using the sort of to twist further up by pressing this right arm into the right knee. Big inhalation here. Exhale. Windmill the arms back down, turning the foot, bringing that right foot back down again. Let's press back into our downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Knees, chest, chin. Upward dog, tucking those toes, downward dog. Big inhalation here. Exhale. I'm going to come over into our plank position. So we're going to dip our hips, making sure that we're pressing into the fingertips. I'm going to come as far as we can, as straight as we can, making sure that the bottom isn't in the air, so the bottom is going to come all the way down. So the pelvis is tucked under. Shoulders over, and over our, um, our wrists here. I'm going to take a big inhalation here, making sure that the, um, the elbows facing each other. Big inhalation. Exhale, back into downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, over into our plank position again, making us strong, 
drawing in the abdominals here, pressing into the heels, the hand and the fingertips, pressing through, no, pressing the earth away, making sure that we're in alignment here, hold, exhale, back into our downward dog, inhale, exhale, one more time, We're come down onto our knees, into our child pose, focusing on our breathing here. You can take the arms by the side if you want to release the shoulders. Take a big inhalation for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Enjoy the silence. Focusing the mind on the breath. And take ourselves up, so I'm just going to do some, some stretching here. So we're going to come onto the side of our mat here. We're going to bring the soles of our feet together into our butterfly position. You can hold on to the feet to use them as a little bit of leverage here. Um, so we're going to get in as far as we can as comfortable. We're going to make sure that we're elongating the spine here. Nice, long spine neck, feeling a nice stretch on the inside of the thighs and a nice elongation of the spine. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. do um, a twist here. We're going to take our right leg out long and the left knee is just going to come up as far as we can towards us. We just want to use um, our hands to leverage to make sure that we're sitting nice and tall here, as tall as we can. We're going to take our right elbow over to the left knee. We're going to take the left hand into the back here so that we're right onto the floor beside your bum. We're going to elongate, lengthen as we do so. We're going to push and twist and take our eye gaze to the back of the wall. You can use this leverage as much or as little as you want. Feel that nice twist. As we're here, inhale, exhale. It's taking the opposite way, so lengthening the left leg, bending the right knee, using the leverage here, twisting to the right, pressing elongating the spine before we twist, taking the eye gaze to the right. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Come back round again. Just going to come onto our backs here. <clears throat> We're just going to take our feet, um, just going to be able to touch our feet, our heels here. Um, roughly about a fist width between the top of your legs and your ankles and come onto our back, move ourselves around a little bit. Whilst we're on our back, we're just going to look at our pelvis here. We're going to tilt our pelvis forwards and backwards. This is called our pelvic tilts. We're going to tilt ourselves forwards and backwards a little bit, we're pressing the back of the spine as the pelvis, the pubic bone tilts forward, almost like you're drinking a cup of coffee and then you're tipping it the other way. So then you've got a big gap underneath here, um, if your body allows that, and then tipping it in the opposite direction. So just do a couple of these. Four, three, two, and one. On this one, as we tilt it all the way forward, we're gonna press evenly into our feet, and we're gonna bring our bottom off the floor, coming up into our bridge position, keeping that tilt, forward, 
as we press ourselves into our bridge position. Arms are nice and relaxed, long down the side of the body. We can twinkle our fingers, twinkle our toes to make sure there's no tension there. And as we're here, we're engaging our glutes here. Just think about relaxing the stomach muscles. I tend to grip mine quite a lot. Um, so just think about relaxing these stomach muscles and thinking about that tilt. You can start to feel a nice stretch in the hip flexors here. We feel engagement from the back of the glutes here. As we're here, just think about where is the weight in your feet? Are you putting the weight on the inside of your feet more than the outside? Just thinking about where that weight is. I want to try and get it as even as possible. So just adjust your feet as you need to. While we're here, let's take a big inhalation. Exhale, we're going to scoop down one vertebrae at a time, very slowly, keeping that tilt in the pelvis, the coffee cups coming forward, all the way down. As we place each vertebrae down on the mat, we're going to tilt ourselves back, tilt ourselves forward as we come up one vertebrae at a time, almost like we're going up the stairs. One vertebrae, keeping that tilt, pressing evenly into the feet. Inhale. Exhale. Just think about knitting those ribs together, not flaring out here. Everything is in nice and alignment, feeling that stretch and engagement in the legs. Inhale. Rolling down, starting from the top, as if we're going down one step at a time. Keeping that curve, curl up in the pelvis as we place each vertebrae down and relax. We'll take our arms out long, taking the hands above the head, closing the eyes now, making a big inhalation. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take the arms the side, let the feet hang loosely and relax ourselves. Inhale, exhale. We come into our savasana at the end of our class. Try and think about what thoughts are popping into your mind. What are you thinking about? Are you thinking about the practice that you've just done? Are you thinking about what you could have done better or how you found it difficult? How about the positives, thinking about the positives in your mind? You've just done a beginner's yoga class. You started something new. You've learned something new. Nurturing your body, loving your body, opening your mind releasing your mind, calming your mind. Any negative thoughts that come in the way, think of them as clouds coming and going. Every thought is a cloud. Any negative ones, the grey clouds, let's just pick them up and throw them away. They're just going to pass. Let's hold on to a positive one, a nice big white fluffy cloud. Positive. Nurturing, calm, meditation, mindfulness. Think about those thoughts that are coming into your head. We don't want negative thoughts, we want positive, happy thoughts. Just think about relaxing your eyes, relaxing your face, relaxing your jaw. Relaxing your neck and your shoulders. Relaxing your arms and your fingertips. Relaxing your legs. Relaxing your stomach muscles. Feeling the weight of your buttocks and your back into the mat. Relaxing your knees. Relaxing your toes. You are relaxed. You are calm. 
you are meditating. Take a big inhalation. Exhale. Try and think about this moment when you're feeling stressed and how calm you now are, how relaxed your body is. And your body and your mind are one, connected, as we are with each other. Let's wiggle our fingers and our toes, bending our knees, coming onto our sides, into our feet as pose, drawing ourselves up, into a seated position, whatever is comfortable for you. Taking a big inhalation, let's take our hands together to our heart center, keeping our eyes closed. Let's take a big inhalation. Exhale. My name is Lorraine at Flow Hot Yoga Pilates. Thank you very much for joining me in my practice today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. Please love your body and remember that feeling that you've had today in this class. I wish you well. Keep safe and sane during this isolation. And um, namaste.